Hello everybody, welcome to the second video of Monday. This one is focused on how to find your fun in Marvel Contest of Champions. This all comes about from something that myself and Dan and as well many other players have talked about, about finding happiness and fun within the game. This is something definitely over the last uh, year, 2021, it's been important to find what is fun in Marvel Contest of Champions to you as a player. This is gonna be incredibly important because it's all about stopping burnout and focusing on things within the game that you find interesting and yeah, fun. This can be from alliance-based camaraderie and alliance quests, setting targets of how many shards you want to get or certain featured six stars you're going to be shooting for in the future, which can go hand in hand with collecting certain champions, whether or not it's again through crystals and yeah, or through arena grinding, doing incursions or quite simply just monthly content or story mode content. Like for me, it's taken seven years to kind of put things down to a time management perspective and also identifying what it is about Marvel Contest of Champions I like, which is, well, number one, not having the pressures of Alliance Wars and letting down Alliance mates and, and having, yeah, some element of camaraderie by doing map-focused uh, AQ. And the second thing is all about monthly content. That's what I like, new monthly content, because it's fresh and it's original most of the time. And when that collides, then I can have this kind of good time balance, which allows me to enjoy what I enjoy about life and then at the same time plan other things around it in my Marvel Contest of Ch Champions grind. But when it comes down to pressure, there are ways that you can uh, structure your time within Marvel Contest of Champions and still focus on what is fun by creating mini challenges and structures in your day-to-day -day grind. So I'll put in the description a little bit of a write-up of notes, which I'm going to be referring to today. The kind of, uh, the kind of like a tips sanction of tips that you can uh, you can follow if you are interested but let's go over these things we kick off with smaller targets these aren't going to be massive things they're just quite short short things of where to focus on a lot of the time in game you'll find that you're chasing what is other people's expectations of oh you have to do this or you need to do that oh i want to do this but i need to do something else and a lot of the time you strip a lot of that stuff up by saying to yourself, I need to do Act 6 or I need to do Act 7. It's like you change it and you flip around what you're, what you're doing. You create smaller targets for yourself by saying things like, I would like to do Act 7.1.1. Again, that's all about like a smaller thing. You've you kind of brought things down to a less pressure. Start creating less pressure for yourself and saying, this weekend I want to 100%, 7.1.1 or 7.1.1 to 7.1.2. These are just these little things that kind of make you go, okay, well, I've achieved something over a weekend and I can say I'm happy about what I've done when I've explored it. A good example of that is something that happened to me at the weekend. The weekend I said to myself I wanted to do one of each of the variant eight missions of the chapters just to re-familiarize myself with the content which i haven't touched since i think it was released and i went through an initial completion on stream i wanted to make sure that i knew what i was doing especially with live streams that i'm going to be doing this week and i achieved that that's a little release of endorphins it's a, a little kind of like a burst of happiness to go i did this and at the same time one of the big things is there was a few things that went wrong and what i can really say is then kind of build up a another target which is to top up my things like revives and health potions and energy refills, which again, uh, I did on that. So I kind of felt like, okay, I did a smaller target, which was to do loads of these kind of missions that I wanted to do. And then I did a micro target and a micro target or goal was to top up more uh, revives and health potions, which I've, uh, which I have indeed done. And you'll be able to see on screen right now. So you can see like that I'm topped up and I'm ready to go into the, uh, the following week. So this is all about, again, smaller and micro targets that are good on my time. And I didn't have to waste about, I think it took about like an hour, or hour of grind. And then I did another hour of resource top up. And those two things that those two hours over the weekend felt like, hey, that was, that was, that was cool. And that was fun. But also you could have other goals, other smaller goals, and this could be something that extends into larger goals which are important. Smaller goals may be like, uh, in X amount of time I want to grab X amount of units, and then that's done over X amount of months, then preparation for things like uh, Cyber Weekend. You could say also with uh, certain things of a 2022 goal by saying, oh right, well what I want to do is I want to get my first ever rank 3 6 star champion, or I want to get my first ever rank 5 
five star champion or first ever rank four six star champion which is one of my my goals it's something that i'll probably achieve it may be a case that i'll get it by end of the year but at least to say like it's something in the future i can aim for but it's not necessarily something i can get done right now because i don't have the time allocated but still it's uh, important to have goals have targets which uh, help you so you're working towards something but i do appreciate not everybody is going to have uh, a more of a casual mindset to stuff and there's some people that have done absolutely everything and are still chomping at a bit for more content for those that need more content man uh, it's very difficult to kind of put together anything that's like how about how, how do you find your fun for those that have done everything especially with a lot of like friends and people that i know that have again done everything and maybe kind of going like well i need more content i need something to do in game but also play a, a lot larger uh, volumes of time or have more time allocated to play marvel contest of champions and that's when these kind of like personal challenges come into play not things like Karina's challenges which you know if you've done you've done and you might be waiting for more it may be a case that if you don't have if you've done absolutely everything you might have to restructure what you want or what you desire or what you're working towards and that may be something to say like right well maybe you want to do incursion challenges for yourself to kind of figure out you know who are going to be some of my best champions to to go into incursions and and find them the other thing may be certain types of champion acquisition which may be all about creating a grind structure for things like six star shards to then grab more six star featured crystals of some of the new champions to again make it worth your while of grind and and feel that okay well i'm actually working towards something within the game or it may be a case quite simply that uh, you need to work on like arena grind to acquire more of these new champions or champions you don't normally have to then pick them up and put it in your roster but also uh, just just future preparation for future content because uh, roster scope and coverage is also going to be a key factor to anybody but it's very difficult for those that have done everything to have something that they are working towards and feel like having fun and it depends and this is all, all about trying to find your fun what ticks your boxes when it comes to marvel contest of champions the same thing can be for the competitive field if you've done everything you might want to try and get those very unique type of arena results which is like if you get number one you get a special title a certain amount of kind of like people have got that one but that may be something you want to work towards very difficult if you're free to play as well to try and get on the competitive ladder of leaderboards in those kind of uh, areas but then there are things that you might have to say to yourself again am i interested in the competitive grind is it too much a case like it's causing pressure for me and is it a case i need to kind of like lower down my expectations of what i need to achieve and look to you know achieve them or find a happy medium and again we will always come back to that point of like what's fun for you about marvel contest of champions and can you bend your type of grind and your structure on a daily basis around the stuff you love in game this is where for me i love the rush of in, uh, kind of like excitement to do micro grinds micro grinds for me will be things like stripping down stuff to what i want to achieve like i might say okay i've got 30 minutes to an hour i'm going to devote some time just to play a little bit of marvel contest of champions and look to say right well i want to see that 100 percent i want to see my epic 100 percent for the side quest or i want to do what something i, I really love doing is going back to some old content and especially now as i'm work as i'm kind of free hopefully free to play for this month where i'm not getting a summoner sigil and i'm not getting any of the daily card that i normally do is to understand inventory management but also rotations and grabbing more revives and health potions as a lot of you know if you repeat back some old content you will find that the things that will drop will be revives health potions not great health potions but also full energy refills this for me is all about again creating more of a stock and supply so i'll kind of like return back to my, what mine personally is act 3.2.6 most of the time i will find a revive or a full energy refill which unfortunately it seems like luck has not favored me this time but if you see my other content you'll know that when i've done this process there's there's always been some there or there's been two there a lot of the time you'll have to kind of go through this to the boss do it and then it refreshes what's on the route but that's a lot of time is again it's like it's a micro thing that i do and i can do that around like doing other things this means like you know when i come to do the content more meaningful content like my act seven grind variant eight grind at least to say like again i've had a little bit of a win and feeling that get, getting those little wins for for like maximum take home to so i can like go to my item section and see 
all of this stuff and go, right, okay, well, I'm ready to do that content. It gives me that rush of kind of like, I don't need to worry quite so much about things like my units and therefore my units can be saved for more meaningful things down the line as well. But it's all about, again, as I said, like it's all about creating a little bit of fun. Is that fun for you? Was that fun for you? Is it not fun for you? What is fun for you? And kind of focus on that. Is it going to be creating spreadsheets for things? Is it going to be creating structure for grind of going, okay, well, if I do a little bit of this, I grab this and I feel like I've accomplished something. So again, find your fun. The other things that could be fun for you as a micro target would be to learn a champion. If there's a champion that you don't know how it works, then maybe just learn that champion. You can also set limits on grind and then go and do other things in your life, like you know, physical exercise. I'll kind of do some stuff and then go out for a run, come back, and I find that my head's a bit more kind of clear on what I want to achieve. And that is just another thing that you can you can do. These micro targets can even go into your own life where you're like, okay, well, I want to do X amount of exercise per day same with marvel contest champions i want to learn this champion how it works for x amount of time and just kind of go i don't I don't have that pressure on you to kind of go i have to do this i have to do that like just flow with the game because then you'll find that you'll enjoy it a bit more rather than going i have to do this at this time so that's just the last points that i want to kind of go on from to say like the great thing about this game is if you understand like lowering your stress about having to do things and setting up a grind structure or even in your mind, not kind of going like, oh, I have to do this. It's just like saying in your mind, okay, when I wake up, I'm going to have to move an AQ if AQ is on. On uh, lunchtime, I might have to move again in AQ. And then just close to like dinner time, I might have to move an AQ. It's not always the case and it's not always kind of clear cut as that. But again, it gives you an idea of kind of what you need to do. And if that's stressing you out, then move away from alliance-based part competition or set up your own alliance and, and set up your own kind of grind within it. That's down to you at the end of the day. And there's also other stuff, you know, just, just look at the pressure of things. If people are saying you have to do this or you feel like you have to do this content, like don't just chill out like games are meant to be kind of like enjoyed in a more intense fashion but also in a casual fashion and you need to kind of understand where your life is around the game so that you can just like you can play other games but then come back to this which is something that i do myself as well as kind of recording content making videos structuring writing them preparing them and stuff like that but also just enjoy the game on your terms come back to that question what is your fun with Marvel Contest of Champions. And if you feel stressed about the game, if you feel annoyed about the game, or you know undecided about what you're doing with it and, and feel stress and pressure with it, then this is the stuff with stopping burnout. It's just looking at what you like about it and focus on what you like about it, all these areas, and also like the content that you wanna grind and grind it on your terms. Don't let anyone else kind of like force you to do anything else you, you don't want to do. Uh, and I thought this was kind of like, this is the video, by the way. I thought this was good because this is something myself and Dan have been talking about for a good part of 2021. And also, I'm going to release a podcast later on with Vega, who talks about finding the happiness with Marvel Contest of Champions. And I thought it was kind of like a good opportunity to create a video. Kind of looks into like where I found happiness, what I enjoy about the game, where I enjoy it, and how and, and why this has taken nearly seven years uh, for me to kind of like say, okay, well, I like this and I like that, and I like this kind of element of structure. And it all starts for me by just saying to yourself, I say to myself, I need to complete Cavalier 100% within a week. And that's how things start for me. And then after that, after that little challenge that I create for myself, I then can restructure my grind, which I've only in the last two months, so December and January, uh, actually kind of come back to kind of feeling that I'm in a good place and happiness with, with the game. Doesn't mean to say it's a perfect game, it's just a case of like, if you love the game, you may be a little bit annoyed with some of the stuff Kabam does, but you still want to continue playing. It's a case you've got to find a little bit of happiness and a little bit of fun when it comes to the game. But that's a little video there. Hope it interested somebody out there. And uh, yeah, podcast later on it. Make sure as well to check out some other content located on screen right now. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.